specifically the arena. Nail it! Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Swear down I am trying not to laugh. Dude, I, I've, I have a commentary. Damn, this- why can I not let- my, my brain just does not let me record good commentary. What's going on guys, it's Vinks here and today we are going to be talking about Destiny and more specifically the arena. For those of you that don't know what the arena is, it is essentially a new raid which consists of 5 rounds, 4 of which have 3 waves each and give you certain tasks to complete before allowing you to move on to the next section. Finally, the 5th round has a boss which when defeated gives you access to the treasure room. Now these rounds may be different depending on which level you play them on, for example on level 35 there will be a boss on the 1st, 2nd and 3rd rounds instead of one final boss at the end. Also, just to be clear, you need keys to access the main chest at the end of the arena. Anyway, I read some people's reviews on the Destiny forums regarding the new arena. There was a lot of negativity towards the new raid, but after playing it myself, I had to disagree with them. I personally think the arena is a new and improved way of getting you more involved with your teammates to gain rewards, and prevents people from cheating their way through by abusing their character's traits, like on Crota's End. For all you warlocks out there, you know who you are. The arena forces you to communicate and move around to complete the tasks and prevents people from sitting in corners picking off enemies as they walk by. If the player does not complete the task within a specific time, they will wipe and be forced to start again which I think is a brilliant way of pushing people to actually work hard for their reward. Another thing that I thought made this better than the other raids was putting players in a situation where they need to adapt. The zones that you enter are completely randomised which means you will have to carry all the weapons that will be needed to kill your enemies, whether it be Cabal, Hive, Fallen or Vex. The final point I wanted to bring up was the in-game modifiers. When you're about to start a new round, the game will generate a random modifier which may or may not be in your favour. Some modifiers that you think could make the game easier for you, for example, Arcburn, could prove to be hell considering the wizards essentially have arc machine gun hands, but again it forces players to bring more than one set of armour and more of their weapons to pass each wave. Anyway guys those were just a few points that I felt made a positive impact on the game and emphasises the need and usefulness of teamwork. I just wanted to share my views on the arena with you guys and if you had any points of your own that you'd like to share, whether they're good or bad, leave a comment telling us what you think of the arena. Anyway guys thanks for watching this video, if you liked it be sure to give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Give her! I just had cold, man. I just had listen. <laughs> it's up my nose and everything.